Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rearrange the menu for beginners in Reaper. So if you follow this channel and my advice for a while, you'll know that I tell people not to try to customize Reaper right away to behave like another DAW that you might be used to. Instead, try to learn Reaper from the ground up. And once you understand how to do most of what you want to do, then start customizing it and changing all the keyboard shortcuts and so on. But there is one area that you might want to customize right away, and that's the menus. Why? Because it's super easy to put them back to the default if you don't like what you've done. And more importantly, it's a great place to put things that you use most often, right where you want them. So it could actually help you learn Reaper faster. So let's take a look. So everything up here is our menus. We have File, Edit, View, Insert, and we could change any of the menus and their items for our own personal use, just to make things quicker for us. But everything I show you in this video is based on my personal workflow. Obviously, you're going to choose options that work best for you. But as an example, if we go up here to the insert menu, right down over here, we could add new tracks, add multiple tracks, virtual instruments on new tracks, and add tracks from templates. Any track templates we saved, we could insert them from here. But I personally use these menu choices more than the ones up here. So for me, I'm going to move these up to here. And I could do that by going over here to the Actions menu and choosing Show Action List, which you could also open up with the question mark key. That opens up all the actions we could perform in Reaper. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them. Anything we want to do in Reaper is performed with an action. And we could add any of these actions to any menu we want. But to keep it simple, Let's type in menu, and right over here, we can customize our menus. Double click it, and if we go over here, we can choose the menus we want to customize. For us, I want to find the menu on the main insert. This is the menu we were just looking at. Choose it, and here's the menu items in that menu. So what I'm going to do is customize this menu by dragging things around to different places. Here's our track, multiple tracks, and so on. Let's drag this one to the top, right up here. Do the same with multiple tracks. Virtual instrument, our new track. And then finally, our tracks from templates, which is going to drag all this stuff together. Let's put it at the top. Let's also move this separator to the top and right below this. So now, if we hit OK, it's going to change the Insert menu to this. As we can see, now Track, Multiple Tracks, and the other options are now on the top of this menu. So if I wanted to create a new track, I could do it here. I could add multiple tracks. Let's say I wanted to add four guitar tracks. I could do it right from here. And that creates guitar one through guitar four. And it's a bit quicker because I move them up here. But if we change our mind and we prefer to put it back, just reopen the action list, go back to this menu, and reset it to its menu default. Right here, hit OK. And now it's back to the way it was before with those options down here. So that's one way you can customize the menus. Another way that I personally prefer is when you select an item and then right click it, this menu is known as the contextual menu. And very often I'll right click an item and choose under item settings to mute it, to loop it, to lock it, to go down here and change it to mono, we'll put it back to stereo, we'll go over here 
under item and take colors and change the item to a custom color. But as you can tell, all those options are in different places. And like I said, I personally use these the most. So for me, I'm gonna customize that right click menu. We'll go back in here, customize menus, and we're gonna change the menu we're editing to the media item context. And this is the menu we're gonna see when we right click our items. And instead of dragging things around, we could duplicate things from the default menu over here. I'll grab mute, I'll put it at the top, and looping, and locking, and we'll scroll down to our channels to normal and mono. And then we'll scroll down to colors, set items to custom color, and put that over here. And let's add by right clicking a separator, which separates these items from the defaults down here. And we can also rename these items. Maybe you want to shorten each name. So it just says loop or normal, mono, or custom color. So now we could save this menu right here. Now we could right click our items and just mute them right from here, which is a bit quicker than doing it from here. We can mute them, unmute them, unloop them, or loop them. We could lock them, unlock them, switch it from normal to mono, and back to normal, or give it a custom color. and it changes to that color. But again, everything I've chosen to do can be added right to the top of this menu, leaving the other options alone. But again, if you wanna put it back, just go back and reset it to the default for that menu. And now it's back to the way it was before. So as you can see, it's endless how many menu items you can add to your menus. So don't be afraid to be creative with it as you can always undo it and reset them later. So that's pretty much it. That's rearranging the menus for beginners in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.